a happy new year to everyone. Hi, kids. Do you know what time is it? You're right. It's math time. Are you ready? All right. Let's start. So for today, you will be learning two things. First is to visualize or to see multiplications of numbers from 1 to 10 by 2, 3, 4, 5, and 10. And number two is to multiply mentally 2, 3, 4, and 5, and of course 10 using appropriate strategies. So for this one, I will just give you tips on how you will be able to mentally solve multiplication. Let's start. But before that, let's have our past question of the day. How many books are there if there are six bookshelves containing five books? Is it A, 11 books? B, 15 books, C, 25 books, or D, 30 books? Let's check your answer. So this problem, you will need to multiply. So 6 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. The correct answer is letter D. Now, let's check what are the other ways on how we can get this one. We can add 6 5 times. That's 6, 12, 18, 24, 30. We can also do a while ago, add 5 6 times. We can also do add five six times. Or what we did, keep counting six, twelve, eighteen, twenty four, thirty, or five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty. If you really can do this, it's all right. You can use a number line. So you count one, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. So that is the number line. So you can use different strategies for you to be able to correct product. Now let's go with our lesson for today. The first is to solve it. Now I want you to solve this one. Two times five. Two times five is, that's right, five, 10. So our answer is 10. Let's go with the next question. How about three times nine? Very good. So you can add nine three times so that it, that it will be shorter. Nine, 18, 27. So that is 27. Next is, Four times seven. What is your answer? Great. So the correct answer here is 28. And next one. How about two times 10? This is an easy one. It's 20. Okay, 
And for the last one, 5 times 7. Well done. So you just keep count 5, 7 times. So that will be 35. Now let's try to visualize multiplication. Just like what we learned last month, here is how we visualize. So for example, we have cookies in a box. Now, how many boxes are there? We count one, two, three, four, and five. So we have five boxes. So that's what we write first. Now, how many cookies are there in each of the box? So let's count. One, two, three, four. So we have four cookies in one box. Now, if you count all the cookies all together, you will get 20. So five boxes times four cookies inside, you will get 20. Let's see it the other way around. Now I have here four boxes, each with five cookies. Now how many cookies are there? Now remember, count first the boxes or the sets, or the group. So we have four boxes. Now each of the box contains five cookies. Now in this, even if we change the, uh, even if we change the factors, four times five, or five times four, you will still get the same. Because remember, in the properties of multiplication, we have the property of commutative, right? Now let's try to see another example. Now I have here one jar with candies inside. Now how many candies are there? So remember, you have to write first how many groups. So how many jars are there? There is only one. Now how many candies are inside? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is eight. Now one times eight is eight. Because we only have one group with eight candies inside the property of identity where any number that is multiplied to one we will get the number as the product so that is eight now let's go on to the next and last example okay so i have here three circles which is empty now let me ask you how many objects are there in the circle? Can you see anything inside? Of course. We cannot see anything because it is empty. So you write that as three groups with zero objects inside. Now, if we ask how many objects are there in the circle, our answer will be zero. Just like what we learned in the zero property of multiplication, where if we multiply any number with zero, you will get a product of zero. Okay, so I hope you were able to see or visualize how multiplication works. Okay, so in multiplication, we are adding the number of objects inside each group. So we can get the total in addition or the product. Okay. 
Now I will now give you tips in mental multiplication. The first tip is this one. So you have to tune in. What is tune in, teacher? This is a strategy where you place a tune in skip counting while using your fingers. I will give you an example. Let's watch this one. Hi guys, it's Amy and Kylie back and we are doing our skip counting by four song. And this time we're doing it to the tune of row, row, row your boat. Are you ready, Kai? Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. Okay, so if you were able to hear that, the tune is row, row, row your bow gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. For a 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40. So you can use a tune in order for you to remember the multiplication table. So that is one strategy. Now, if you want to know more tunes for you to uh, memorize, here is the channel. So in YouTube, you may search this one, skip counting by threes, skip counting by fours, by six, by seven, and they will show you the tune and how you are going to solve. Now remember, you have to use your fingers in order for you to know what you are multiplying to. So four times one is four right? 4 times 2 is 8, and so on and so forth. So you can watch YouTube videos for you to practice your multiplication. Let's go with the next strategy. Now, this strategy is um, what we call place a beat, where you make a beat while saying the multiplication table. Now, let me show you an example. Now, you can use mine or you can also do your own bit. Now, let's learn the beat first. So, you tap your lap. So, tap, clap, snap. Now, you will be saying your multiplication table. So in the first, you may have your copy with you. But as the time goes, you try to remove it so you will be able to memorize. Here's, let's do the table of two. Two times one, two. Two times two, four. Two times three, six. 2 times 4, 8. 2 times 5, 10. 2 times 6, 12. 2 times 7, 14. 2 times 8, 16. 2 times 9, 18. 2 times 10, 20. So you can use that beat for you to be able to memorize your multiplication table. So again, Tap, clap, snap. Okay, so you know now how to place a beat in your multiplication table. And of course, for our last strategy, which is the most important, important one, 
is for you to memorize your multiplication table. Now, always give a day or a time in the day to practice your multiplication table. For example, after all your classes before resting, try to memorize for, for example, week one, you will practice multiplication table of two. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Then, do it on the next day until you are able to practice the multiplication table of two. Now, if you cannot do the mental, you may use the tune or you may use the beat. Now, for the next week, go for multiplication number three, then so on and so forth. Now, remember, practice makes perfect. So, you have to practice for you to able to master multiplication. So, I hope that these three examples will help you to mentally solve your multiplication. This will really help you to solve fast in all your quizzes and problems. Okay, so now it's time for your activity. Here is your activity for today. So what you're going to do in order for you to help memorize multiplication table, do this in a blank band paper. Fill up the multiplication table below and solve mentally. So you can ask help from your parents or guardians to make you a perfect table. But if you can do it, then that's all right. Now you have to put on top that multiplication symbol then 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then going below or our call rows is the 2 3 4 5 and 10 okay now i want you to solve 2 times 0 is 0 2 times 1 is so, fill that all up and then you are done. Now, next after doing this, you have to take a picture of it. Now, upload it in the link given in your Genio. Locate the week 6, day 2 FLD. You will see there a link for submission. Click that and once you've clicked the link, in the link, you will see your sections, 2B, 2C, 2D, 2E, and 2F. Now, once you've seen this, click your section, and inside your section, your class number and name will show. Put the picture inside the folder. Okay, so you may ask your parents to help you with this one. So here is an example. So from 2B, you can see B1, B2, B3, B4, and so on and so forth. So just double click that and you will be able to drag the picture of your multiplication table. Okay, now we will be seeing again um, each other on our third day, we will, which we will have a review for your upcoming examinations. So I hope this video helps you in doing mental multiplication. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.